In this video, I want to show you how we create a template that's going to display information from custom fields like we would have in a products page or in this case, a courses page. So from the client standpoint, they're going to enter this information right here in the main text editor area. This of course is the title of the post because these are going to be posts. These are groups of posts that we're displaying. Now this information here, like ages, the time, the location, costs, all of those are going to be individual custom fields that we've set up. This way the client just enters particular bits of information and then the template we're about to create will take all of that and manipulate it into the structure we see here. Now why create a template for the loop? because that's what we're going to be doing here, a special loop template. If I just created a category for Thursday, I couldn't use all of the loop structure that I create for it. I can't use it in other categories. So if I create a separate loop template, I can reuse it over and over and over again. So the loop template basically does this. It gets all that custom field information. Then it adds it to the information that WordPress automatically grabs, like title and content and excerpt and so on. It adds it to that and creates a structure, sets up that structure that we see on the page using HTML of course and then most importantly the CSS selectors that are going to allow us to really style it and make it look the way we want. Before we get started on the loop though we need to create the category pages and this is the one for Thursday and I just make a note to myself at the top so I know what's going to happen. There's our get header, our outer co content container, then the content itself. Now here's where the loop does all the work. Get template part loop and a loop named courses. Finish off with sidebar and footer and there's our category template. All right, the heavy duty, heavy lifting that's going to be done here by loop dash courses. Now before we actually start the loop, we want to grab a couple of things that aren't specific to each post. So these are general and these are coming from the theme options page which we would have built for the client where they can enter specific information that gets reused throughout the site. And in this case that information is about discounts. What's the basic discount? What's the early discount? Now I give pretty big names. Some people say this is really inefficient. I just can't work without it myself because I can never remember what the variable is for. So I give it a name that tells me what it's for. So I've assigned it here. Then I can start my actual loop. And this is where I grab, first of all, the custom field data. I need that to work with right away for each particular post. The pink is the name. Remember, custom fields are name value pairs. The pink is the name and then we get the value with this function here and we assign it to this variable. Again, I name it in a way that I can remember. Now, here's an example of what you can do once you've got these custom field variables. In this case, I've got to work out a whole lot of potential pricing that I may need later on. And again, I only do that if I have said with another, yet another theme option variable here, if I've said we're going to have a discount, then I'll do all this. If we have no discount, there's no point in doing all this work. So that's why I do this if statement there. And then this is an interesting one. Yes, we know it's Thursday, but I actually need the name Thursday and I need to make sure that this post actually is in Thursday. So I do that through a series of structures here. In this case, I have an array of IDs. These are category IDs that I know are in the system. And then I grab all the IDs, get post categories for this post. I get all the IDs for the categories that this post belongs to. And then I find out which ones intersect with this days of the week IDs. I find the common IDs and I find there's only one. There should only be one. If, if I've categorized things properly, there will only be one. And then I get the name of that category and that's what I use for Thursday in this case. All right, now we can actually begin the work of creating the post, the structure of it. So I do the usual post ID so that I can target each individual post if I want to. Post class, that's the ones generated by WordPress. And then I want to add my own in here called course box. So I've got an overall class for each post box. Grab my title, grab the content. Remember, content is the area here. There's our title there. 
And now we get into the details. I've even given this whole area its own name. That will help me to focus. So for example, here I just use the name title for the class, but because it's in details, I can specify details title. That's one of the things that helps me get fine-grained in my CSS. And then we start pulling in all our variables here. And then if we've got certain prices, I have to put these as if statements because if there is no price or the person's forgotten to put it in, we don't want to be saying things that have, you know, dollar sign and then a blank. It just wouldn't make any sense. So we do all of that. And then again, is there an early bird discount? If there isn't, again, I've done a general if statement. If there is no discount, then there's no point in me showing all of this discount information. So it will only display if that's been said in theme options has been said yes. So then we get to the end of our course box and the end of each box. Finally, we get to the end of the loop once there aren't any more courses to list or products or whatever it is. Anyway, that gives you a good overview of how you would do a template like that for products and courses and other types of information of that sort.